they are apprentice butchers. And that morning, they're going to be grilled. We'll take them this way. Mid-course exam at the National School of Meat Professions. I'm going to ask you to take two aiguillettes each. The students have one hour to make this piece of raw veal presentable for sale. Come on. We're good to go. I look at the clock. It's almost 10. Come on, we're off. Francois Mulet, the examiner, grades the apprentices on their ability to remove fat from veal without wasting meat. So, I take a look. Of course, this piece here, it's no longer reusable. This piece was badly peeled. So the meat has been removed. So it's not marketable except as waste. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a loss of business. The 30 candidates all had a first professional life. Like Latra, 32 years old, previously in management control. For many, butchery isn't the most glamorous of activities, but she's learned to love it. I love touching meat, I love the texture, how can I put it? I think you really have to touch this job to really understand what a butcher feels like. I mean, it's indescribable. Three veal aiguillettes later, Latra is waiting for her grade. What do I note? I note that it's beautiful work. The work is smooth. There's good organization on the table. So I'll put an 18. That's good. It's the second best result of her promotion. If she passes her final exam in six months' time, Latra is almost certain to find a job. In France, there is a shortage of more than 4,800 artisan butchers. The school, financed by the profession as a whole, is free for students. It is the only school that trains adults from the age of 25. 150 students enroll each year. Students work on a sandwich course. One week a month, they receive theoretical instruction and get their hands dirty in the workshop. Here, what we're going to do is remove this part here, this little muscle here. The rest of the time, students learn the profession in a real butcher's shop. The 10-month training course attracts candidates from all walks of life. Among them is Olivier, aged 46. Eight months ago, he resigned from his job as an architect. Hello? I'll leave you to get ready. Today, he's going back to school. He's going to learn the basics of the trade for six weeks before going on a sandwich course. Good morning, everyone. Like him, half the students in his class have given up everything to become butchers. Many of them were senior executives. The bank, ah, uh, well, materials trader, materials dealer. Yeah, telephony. Right, telephony. Energy. Computers, computers, military music. Well, we're going to do this in cadence. On their first day, they'll learn to cut veal, the easiest meat to work with. You see, this is the leg with the sacrum. You're going to learn all these names. It'll be new to you. Here we have a peeling knife, and here we have a slicer. Their teacher, Francois Mulette, owns a butcher's shop in Haute Savoie. Okay. He was crowned best laborer in France in 2000 and taught butchery for 15 years. Today, he earns 7,500 euros a month to pass on his know-how to his adults, who are far more motivated than the youngsters. It's easier to teach people in retraining today because it's really their choice. They want to succeed. They have no time to lose. For some people, this will be their last job. They want to succeed. To memorize his first course, Olivier, the former architect, has his own technique. He draws each step of the cutting process. This is the hawk, the sacrum with the five bones. So it's just for me, it's a quick way just to get me used to what he's cutting. Do you think that being an architect was going to help you become a butcher? Not really. Until then, 
Olivier Davenier had worked as an architect for some of the world's leading firms. He spent seven years working for Jean Nouvel on the creation of the Quai Branly Museum. He was also chief architect of this luxury boutique on the Champs-Élysées. He earned 4,500 euros a month, so it wasn't money that motivated his change of life. As a butcher, Olivier will earn an average of 1,800 euros for a beginner. But what is priceless is his future work schedule. Before, at 6 p.m., he was a long way from going home. I started my second part of the day, which was more about production, making plans and getting things out. It's a time when you're calmer, from 6 o'clock in the evening until 10.23. The idea of becoming a butcher had already been on his mind when he was 16. Hello, good morning, sir. The atmosphere of a small shop. So I'd like a chicken, please, of course, sir. And the prospect of becoming his own boss have always appealed to him. What makes me dream is the, the conviviality. I can feel that this gentleman is happy. Everything's going well. So there's no reason why it can't be the same for everyone. I feel like I'm going to have fun. Great. And for the first time in a long time, he'll have time to spend with his family. Did you do the dishes or not? He'll be preparing dinner with two of his three children. A little moment that may seem trivial, but not for Caroline, his 11-year-old daughter. You missed your dad a bit. He was working a bit late. Yeah. I miss him a little. When you hear your daughter say that, what do you think? I am doing the right thing. It has to be all is well. His busy wife comes home late. Sophie works as a business consultant and earns a very good executive salary a comfortable financial situation that enabled Olivier to make the switch. I'd rather have someone who leaves with a banana in the morning than someone who's thinking about what I'm going to do with my professional life. How do you feel today? So tell me. I feel like I'm watching a young actor. No, but it's true. It's the enthusiasm of beginnings. A rookie who's going to discover the difficulty of the job the very next day. On the second day of class, it's time for practice. And that's it. This is for you. Before he starts, Olivier has to get equipped. What are you putting on, Olivier? It's a protective apron if you want to keep yourself alive. It's pretty handy. Each student has to bone a 30 kilo veal leg using the method learned the day before. A little help here. There you go. All this meat, 900 kilos, is on loan from butchers at Rungus. At the end of the day, they get it back, all cut up and ready for resale. That is, if all goes well. So, where do you stand, my friend? Check it out. Look at the shepherd's pie there. Now you've broken my bone. A cascade of rookie mistakes for Francois to catch up on. When it's not an apprentice butcher who's mistaken his finger for a veal shank. It's the job that comes home to roost. Olivier, on the other hand, already has a good knife edge despite his old architect's habits. What are we doing here? That's not a pencil. It's a knife, but it's dirty, so I'll have to get used to it. Okay. Same thing. For an experienced butcher like Francois, it takes 15 minutes to bone a veal leg. Apprentices, on the other hand, will take six hours to separate the six pieces. Zaunois, quasi. Tenderloin. Shank, I'm very proud. It's good, it's good, it's good. According to a survey, a third of French people would like to change jobs like Olivier. The whole sonois. Very good. Let's put it away here, too. He has big ambitions. After his training, he'd like to open a high-end butcher's shop near his home in the Paris region. Mm -hmm. 
Latra. The apprentice who passed her midterm exam just wanted a job. After business studies and a few temporary assignments, she had a hard time finding a stable job in her field management control. In this binder, the hundred or so applications she sent out over a two-year period. After studying your application, we regret to inform you that we are unable to give it a favorable response. That's all. We hope you will soon find a job that meets your expectations. So, at some point, you say to yourself, if you don't find a job in this field, well, you'll have to do something else and challenge yourself if you have to. And that's how Latra turned to butchery. To be admitted to the Parisian school, she first had to find a craftsman for her sandwich course. But it's hard for a woman to be accepted in a profession where half the workers are men. She had bitter experience of this with her local butcher. He said to me, listen, I'll be honest with you, it's a very, very, very physical job. And you're a woman, you won't last. I can't hire you, you won't last. I was a bit offended by that, but then I reacted by saying, listen, okay, you don't want me, it's fine, I'll find another butcher's shop, and after that, I hope I'll be able to show him that he was wrong to refuse me. She eventually found a butcher's shop two hours from her home, where she goes every morning, three weeks a month. Her employer reimburses her the transport. Philippe Piercing took over this butcher's shop three years ago. Excuse me. Okay, thank you, madame. Have a nice day. Good day, madame. Latra seduced this craftsman, thanks to his business acumen. Did you need something else too, sir? Listen, to finish off the pâté en croûte you have. Yes, I've got some left. There's another future butcher. Julian, 16 years old, is preparing for his degree. He earns 600 euros a month. Latra is paid double. But there's still a bit of a mess. Bravo. What's this called, eh? Uh, it's for me. The gobet is an unsaleable piece that the butcher keeps for himself. Who ate that for me? Is it you? It's me, as usual. Well, at first, no, it's not profitable. It's a loss-making well, business yeah. at first. In fact, it's I not true that the other that. butchers turned me down. If at the start, nothing predestined her to be a butcher, today, uh, she's well, got yeah. a taste for it. A nice cut. Surely. See you later, Sir Perse. Latra even makes home deliveries. Yes, hello, this is the church butcher's shop. I've picked up your bread too. An old-fashioned practice you don't learn in school. 30 euros, please. It's a pleasure for me to deliver to them, and we usually have a little chat. And it's true that it's a little extra. It allows us to exchange ideas outside the butcher's shop in a different context, and that's really nice. Right, Mrs. Sage? Ah, uh, yes, it's that's It's handy great. to be able to be helped like that. She's really nice. Thank you, Mrs. Sage. Last September, Latra graduated. See you soon, then. All the best. All the best. Three months later, she landed a permanent job, like 95% of the students at her school. 